Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, GCC2224, back again with another Star Wars action figure review. And, um, I was looking at my channel and I noticed it's been two weeks since I've made a video. And I think it's time to make another. Um, and today I will be reviewing the Star Wars Vintage Collection Grand Moff Tarkin. And, um, before we get onto that figure, let's get onto the uh, packaging here. Uh, awful offer. I throw away every single pamphlet. Um, a nice picture of Peter Cushing there. I really, I really enjoy it. Um, Grand Moff Tarkin, blue little thing, and the generic Star Wars, you know, display or logo. And taking a look at the uh, back of the package, Wave 15. Uh, only missing her now. Um, want to get it with Malgus. Um, the rest of the figures and uh, the vehicles. Now, first, let's take a look at the little mouse droid this guy comes with. Now, uh, this little mouse droid is um, pretty cool. Um, unlike its predecessor, it actually rolls. It's a kind of Star Wars toys never roll good. I mean, it has moving wheels, but doesn't want to roll. Kind of reminds me of those cheap toys, how they just have these cheap little axles. But, um, yeah, that is the mouse droid. Um, the main feature, feature of it. Has some nice little silver detailing on the top there. Uh, various painted buttons. And more on the other side. I love in the Force Unleashed game, um, for the PS2, I just take these things and throw them at stormtroopers. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's a really, it's a nice little accessory. Um, now onto the figure itself. Uh, please excuse me if I sound a little nasally. I'm not sick, I just have a clogged nose today. But, um, now on to, uh, Tarkin. Uh, this figure, um, I thought I would like it when I got it, but now that I have it, I'm, I'm disappointed, really. Um, it reminds me of practically every single new vintage collection figure. Um, it's cheap in my hands. It feels cheap in my hands. It has little pan applications. Um, the skin is glossy. I mean, I have this um, thing that's blocking my desk lamp, so it doesn't express how glossy this figure is. Yes. This figure is so glossy, the skin practically reflects every single light it touches. And that's pretty disappointing. Um, because I was hoping that this figure actually wouldn't have had skin that was normal. And that's kind of rare now. It's, it's really rare. Um, because Star Wars figures, they're just taking a huge downhill. I mean, quality's going down. I mean, this figure feels cheap in my hands, and just taking a look at this, uh, Snake Eyes from this very year. I mean, it's from Hasbro. And the plastic feels good. It feels sturdy. This guy just feels cheap. And before I forget, the articulation is a ball joint and ankle, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. Um, just taking a look at uh, some of the details on this figure. Right off the bat, you can see that this figure is in a green outfit. I really think a gray would have been a lot better for this figure. And uh, taking a look at the card back, just one more time, you can see how the outfit looks like a grayish green. This just looks like a flat out green. And the fact that it's a glossy plastic, I mean, you can see it right there on that arm, it, it's pretty glossy. Um, the, it doesn't express the appearance of Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, I do like that they did make this out of soft goods, but I don't like that it doesn't match um, with the color. I mean, usually I can forgive that on other toy lines, such as Transformers, because it's very slight, usually. But this, it's just so obvious. It's pretty bad. But, um, if the camera will pick it up, you can see some small little rivets on the, uh, sleeves there, which I do enjoy. And, um, right down there you can see how the hand has some nice molded detailing, such as, uh, veins and such. And this hand that is grasping his, uh, gun, it's just, uh, Dr. Revison's gun. 
I'm not going to display and display them with it, so I'll just put that aside. And um, on his chest, you can see how he has his rank badge, which... Is it just me, or does the paint look pretty sloppy on it? It just looks sloppy to me. And um, there you've got the little communicator weird things there. The belt has the main silver um, little thing there, and a nice little um, silver dot. And uh, in terms of paint applications, this guy doesn't have much. You can see the rivets there a little more. I mean, he just has his boots, some of his chest detailing, his belt, and his face. His face, well, on the issue, um, some people say it looks a lot like Peter Cushing. I disagree. I mean, the face wouldn't have been perfect if the mouth wouldn't be so small. I mean, it looks like Peter Cushing, but it looks like Peter Cushing after he just ate, like, a bowl of lemons. I mean, he just has this sour look on his face. and That would be good on a Tarkin figure, if it wasn't sour, as in having, like, a sour lemon. I mean, he looks like he has a sour lemon in his mouth. I was like, you know, his mouth is just so small. His hair um, does have some nice, uh, you know, coloration to it, but hope you don't mind. I just want to take a closer look. It's this, I just noticed this, this weird pukish tan color. And it's, it doesn't look that good. It, it really doesn't. In, in person, it doesn't look as vibrant as it does on the camera. But just looks like he got vomit in his hair and didn't wash it out. And I want to prefer like a darker shade of gray or various other things. But, um, that being said, uh, I still recommend this figure because the previous Tarkins don't match up to this one because the previous ones just kind of are lower in articulation and um, don't really look that modern. But if you want a Tarkin, I actually suggest the um, the Saga Collection um, Death Star Briefing Pack. Uh, this is a really good one if, you know, you're an Imperial Collector and just want a nice articulated Tarkin. But if you just want a Tarkin just to stand there and look good, I recommend the Saga, the previously mentioned one. So, that being said, um, it is the end of the review. Um, I already said my recommendations on this figure. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd really appreciate a like, um, comment, or subscription. Um, and also, I really want to get this out. I really want to. I really want requests on videos. Like, I will be doing a collection video here soon, so you can pick out any figures from the collection that you would like me to review. Um, really want to do that. Um, I have a lot of Star Wars figures, so if you want to recommend those, go right ahead. So, that's really it. Have a good day, and may the Force be with you. Governor Tarkin, I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. What, what, you, you smelled it from out there? What? Tell me. Oh, blow up your planet. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. <laughs>